God is a merciful and loving God. His love is as wide and as deep as the ocean. But are you willing to share it with others? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, you too, go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is yours. So they went off. And he went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around, and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on evening, if they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating on you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one to same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be the first and the first will be the last. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. There are many symbolism that we can hear on the Gospel. And it is no surprise that Jesus often uses this style in most of his parables. Example, Time or hour symbolizes our time here on earth. Laborers symbolizes the Jews and non-Jews. The vineyard, the field, symbolizes the earth. The wage is God's reward. And of course, the landowner is God. You know, there are three lessons that we can learn from the parable. First, God is merciful and He truly loves us. Second, God's reward is fair and just. And third, God's call to us is both a privilege and a mission. You know, God is merciful and he truly loves us that's the first lesson you know we can't help but wonder how god's mercy and love is wide and huge it includes everyone he has shown it first to the people of israel and just like in the gospel reading he includes even those who are not jews second god's reward is fair and just you know god gives what is due to us 
He is a provident God. And what He gives us is what only keeps us holy and ready for His kingdom. You know, the fact that the Jewish people were jealous in the gospel is because God is giving the same amount of wage to those who do not belong to the Jewish community who worked in sustaining God's kingdom. The third and final lesson is God's call to us is both an opportunity and a mission. You know, when God called us to be His adopted son in baptism, it is an opportunity for us to show that God's calling to us is worthy and that we should work our whole life proving that we are fit for His reward, that is, eternal life. Now, as we work along the journey towards God's kingdom, it is our mission to call and invite our brothers and sisters who do not yet work in God's field. It is our noble task to invite others so that they may also attain God's eternal life. You know, St. Paul, on the second reading to the Philippians, urges his brethren in Philippi and also us Christians too. You know, to avoid anything in our daily lives that would be unworthy of the gospel of Christ. And like St. Paul, we should yearn for God's reward. That is Jesus who will give us eternal life. So again, my dear brothers and sisters, we are invited to reflect on the gospel with these three lessons. First, God is merciful and He truly loves us. Second, God's reward is fair and just. Number three, God's call to us is both a privilege and a mission. As we have heard the reflection for this Sunday, I am inviting each and every one of you to answer these reflection questions. Number one, how do you feel God's mercy and love in your life? Number two, have you been grateful to God for His rewards in your life? And number three, how do you accept God's call as a privilege and as a mission. God has spoken to us today in the Gospel. May it enrich your hearts and minds for this week. And may God bless you always.